what's good everyone. So in the past few days we got some very big and interesting news about the divine art. Apparently someone leaked all of the skills, the VFX, pretty much everything about the divine art. But of course whether it's true or not is the confusing part. So this guy called Sentry sent some detailed divine art clips to many discord group and to some big youtubers as well. From what I know, a beast and Ken are the only youtubers that receive these leaks, so credit goes to the both of them. Before I show you guys the leaks he gave to them, this is the current situation for this divine art leaks. Bread.io one of the dev 4 blocks fruits said this leaks look fake and the skills did not work like that. He also got confirmation from the VFX people that the skill effects there is fake as well. Now this Percival guy have contributed a role in discord and he have access to see the real stuff surly. He said those leaks look so fake to him because he already see the real fighting style. Now I'm not sure if they really says the truth or just feigning ignorance. The leaks also too good to be considered fake. I will give you my opinion on this at the end. Now let's see the leaks. This is the Z skill fool's demise effect. From what I know previously in this video, the Z skill will grab the enemy and do teleport moves on them. This is just like portal Z skill which also grab and teleport the enemy. This is the side view of those effects. Looks pretty neat not gonna lie. This one is the effect when you hold the Z skill. It have similar effect and vibe as the latest fighting style which is the sanguine art. Now let's move on to the X skill, Judgment of the Pitiful. This skill is very similar and reminded me of Rumble C skill. Unlike Rumble where the skill lasts for 5 seconds, this one is more of an instant move. I'm not sure if this will stun the enemy just like Rumble skill. This is how the skill effect looks from the top and here from the front view. So far the effect leaks for this fighting style are way too good. Lastly is the C skill which is the ultimate move, Timeless Misery. Just like what I said in the thumbnail, surprisingly this fighting style will have two modes on the C skill, but of course whether it's true or not remains unknown. Nevertheless here is the first one. I think we all already familiar with this particular skill. This skill has been shown in Zeola's TikTok months ago, but this time it's a full overview of the skill effects. By the way this is only holding out the skill and not releasing slash using it on the enemy. From what I know, this mode here is the time stop mode, and we actually already see the skill in action. If you guys did not watch this video, here is the clip I put there. You guys can see this move will temporarily stop anyone that are in the skill AoE range. This clip is actually from the real Divine Art Showcase. A moderator used it in a private server and someone leaked the clip which resulted in him getting banned. You can also see the big YouTuber and players there. So this clip is genuine. Now for the second mode of this C skill. This clip is exclusively sent from Sentry to a Beast Gaming. So from what Sentry said to him, this mode will teleport the user and the enemies to the other world. This move is quite similar with Portal V move and it also looks like it deal damages as well. Not only that. Do you remember this leak from Shafi Dev? Yes, it's exactly the same as the clip we got now. I mean it's hard to say this is fake when this clip is the same with the official picture leak. Sentry also sent him this screen effect, the enemy will see this if they got caught up in one of the divine art skill, since the X skill is very similar with rumble move, I think that X skill will stun people and give this effect. Now the last thing I want to show. This is a video call between Sentry and a beast. Since the dev said the clips are fake, Sentry go ahead joining a public server and pull out all the skill effects from the game file. This is just a little clip from this video. You can watch the full stuff in a beast channel. Now here is the little confusing part. Let's say he is actually a tester in Blark's Fruits. But as a tester you can only join the tester server and try out the new stuffs that are already put in that server. A tester cannot pull out the game files like this and generate all the moves and effects. This only accessible to the devs and owner who are actually have access to the game files and data. Not to mention this kinda reminds me of that fake race v4 channel. There was a hacker showing fake race v4 animation while we all still trying to solve the puzzles. This situation is kinda the same but at the same time it's not. All these new effects are certainly Blark's Fruits style, but there's just no way a hacker slash script to go out of their way to create these awesome skill effects just to spread fake stuffs. This clip also shows the full effects of Shafi dev official leak, so it just doesn't make sense of this whole situation with the dev saying it's fake. Here's what I think whether this is true or not. 
I would say this is actually a 50-50 situation. Meaning, I don't give a damn about this. I don't care if this is true or not. I just want the flipping update to come out. Seeing these new effects, new skills, new leaks are all nice and good. Seeing the devs trying to hide it or they actually saying the truth are also nice. But at the end of the day, we just only want to play the new stuffs ourselves. The truth can be revealed once they release the freaking update. Anyway that's all for this divine art leak situation. See ya.